Nice job, Kevin. What? They're chocolate raisins. Close the door. This is your fault. Nope. Your stupid friend zone. Mm. I should have been lovers with her first and then friends. That was terrible advice. Terrible advice. You know my seduction method. I like to get in there and get my hands dirty. You sabotage me. You sabotage me, man. Whoa, whoa. Michael, it's good advice. No, right? it's... If it's meant to be, you don't have to push it, so just take your time. I'm suspending you without pay for the rest of the year. No, you're not. Okay, no, I am not. Dwight! I want you to take Jim's chair. No, no, his chair at his desk. He gets it back on Friday. All right. I'm going to randomly select three names, and these three people will get liposuction. Uh, Stanley, Phil is Kevin. Oh, also, this operation is not covered by insurance, and you will be responsible for your own medical bills. No, that is not allowed, Jim. You just need to make a quick call. It's a rule. A rule? OK. Yes, this is Jim Halper from Dunder Mifflin. Uh, yep, I can hold. Just one call. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Wow, do you have any other brain ticklers uh, for us? No, that, that was fun, but we should get back to business. Wait, hey, Michael, you see that wall? Yes. Okay, now look away from it. You don't know if the wall's still there. What do you mean, of course it's still there? Well, you don't know that because you're not looking at it. What if it disappeared? Where would it go? Why, well, that's not, I don't know. I know where the wall goes. Okay, so you're saying that if I'm not looking at the wall, how do I know it's there? Yes. Easy. Oh, oh, all right. How does the wall know when I am looking at it? Okay, I think we've gone too far off topic. How do we know that we are not on topic for a different conversation? Because it is not in the binder. Binder? I don't see a binder. I'm not looking at the binder. How do I know the binder exists? Binder? I hardly knew her. <laughs> so, whoa, still there. Oh. Look at her sleeping. I forget. Are you supposed to let them sleep on their stomachs or backs? I think stomachs, so they don't choke on their vomit. I don't know what the definition of alcoholic is, but if I'm not going to say anything about Meredith's awful jumpers, then why would I bring up her drinking? Do you need any police tape? You have police tape? Do you need police tape? In my desk, I had a delicious bottle of cream sherry. And on my last day at work, I was going to drink the whole thing and take a cab home. Now I have to buy more cream sherry. I leave my laptop at work one day, and nothing happens, so then I start to keep it there. These sickos didn't just take my stuff, OK? They adjusted my chair. Not only is it higher, like Phyllis's, but the armrests are angled like Phyllis's, and it smells like Phyllis. Okay, am I grabbing this one? No, that's not what you're grabbing. <laughs> but, okay. Hey, y'all not gonna be playing these little private games, are we? Sorry, Daryl. It's like driving Miss Daisy, you know? All right. You gotta include me in the conversation. Fair enough. You don't mind? Okay, okay. What kind of car games did you play in the hood? I got a game. It's cow surfing. Cow surfing? You spot a cow, last person to say Jackson 5 has to get on his back and ride it. Really? There are even cows where you grew up? Huh. Everybody got a government cow. Cow surfing. OK, here we go. There's a cow. Jackson, Jackson 5. 5. No! Shoot. OK. All right. All right, pull it over. Here we go. Here we go. Go get it, Mike. I'm going to do it. Michael, it's not a real game. Then why did you say Jackson 5? The man has point. Daryl. All right, I made it. What? Why? Because I wanted you to like me. I do. Hey, come on. Okay. 
Taxi five. The term wingman was first popularized by the film Top Gun, when after a harrowing encounter with Russian MiGs, Iceman says to Mav, you can be my wingman anytime. Now Mav could say anything because previously Iceman killed Mav's best friend, Goose. But Mav says to Iceman, BS, you can be mine. I'm sorry. Um, it's powerful stuff. I do not mind doing hard labor. Ronald Reagan got his start as a stock boy lugging heavy boxes 10 hours a day. Don't miss the pillows. And he went on to become the president of a party planning committee I like to call the United States of America. Most people call it that. that an ant can carry five times its own weight. All it needs is a strong queen to tell it what to do. And there's nothing that little creature can't accomplish. Sorry. And right up here. Jeez, there's a lot of Forms. This will indemnify Shrewd Farms against any possible lawsuits. Okay. Hi. Mose, go to your shed. That's really not necessary. He loves you. What do you mean he loves her? How does he know her? Mose is a people person. He loves everyone. Will he be at the wedding? Absolutely. Have you made a decision on the butter sculpture? No, I haven't thought of it. OK, cow, goat, or sheep. It's not that hard. I would like cat. Cats don't make butter. I would like a cow butter sculpture of a cat. It doesn't make any sense. Just I am just telling just you. Okay, I want a butter cow, sculpture of goat, a cat. What is, or sheep. Cow, what is this? Right? We're all on the same team. Is it? Dad, why is that in the kitchen? There's a hose out back. Out back. Great. That's where I'll be. Having trouble finding a vein? Yeah, a little. How about now? I've trained my major blood vessels to retract into my body on command. Also, I can retract my penis up into itself. How would you like the blood to come at you, fast or slow? Uh, that's not really up to you. Really? Give me a number on a scale of one to ten. Six. <sighs> <sighs> Now, can I specify who gets my blood? No, sir. So my blood's gonna go in with all the ordinary blood? Yes. How do I know it's not gonna go into a person who will later come back to kill me? That would be an ironic death. If you can avoid dying ironically, then you can live forever. I mean, it's on every newspaper headline. Olympic swimmer drowns in bathtub. Poor man dies by falling bag of money. Child star dies of old age. Time traveling assassin kills inventor of time machine by impaling him on sundial. Can't get back home. I cannot wait to shake somebody's hand and defibrillate them. <laughs> I even have a catchphrase. You've been defibrillated. <laughs> hey, Toby. Hey. Put her there. What? Put her there. Let's just let bygones be bygones. Why are you <laughs> smiling and laughing? I'm just, weird. I'm just excited about Jake. Be friends. Okay. What was that? Oh, come on. God. No. Okay. Got a friend for your stroll there, Dwight? Yes. That's nice. Ready. The party planning committee is an institution in this institution. It is something that I incorporated in the mid-90s to celebrate the laser disc release of a league of their own. It has become a tradition here. It is something that is important to all of us. What did we do for league of their own party? A pizza of your own exactly. party. Make your own pizza. I didn't even work here then. I just heard the stories. Okay, thank you, Dwight. What should your resume be and what should you do with your life? Okay. 
two questions, I guess. Fine. No, no, no. I'm sticking to what I said. One question with two parts. Okay, well, look, the second part, you know, that's really personal. I mean, only you can answer that. So you're trying to get out of it. God, thanks for your help, moron. Okay, well, look, the, the resumes. I can really help you there. I must read 20 a day. Okay, good. Write this down. <clears throat> Born in a medium-sized town, Michael Gary Scott always knew he was different. Okay, well, so we might start with, so your most recent thing, summary of achievements. What have you done here at Dunder Mifflin? Changed things. Ushered in a new era of love and comedy in the workplace. Hired many, fired few. Made money, lost money, learned to stop counting. This is our moment. This is our time. This next part should be sung, if possible. Let me tell you something. When Angela and I split, ha ha, oh, I went through it, big time. Lost my high notes. Top of my range was like, bah! Then it took some time. I got my heel on. I got some perspective on. And I found a new friend in the most unlikely of places, the enemy bin. And now, I... Pam and Ryan and I have been through a lot in the last six weeks. We've bonded in some amazing ways. And I, when people say love triangle, I don't know why they think of it as such a bad thing. Hi guys, how are you doing? Aaron, how many times do I have to tell you it is not necessary for you to ask us how we are doing every time you interact with us? You're right, I'm sorry. <sighs> the Jim Pam Dwight dust clump is kind of intimidating because it's like the popular kids. I was a popular kid in fourth grade. Come on, guys, let's stay focused. Eye of the tiger, okay? We can do this. Remember, bump, set, spike. Keep your hands in triangle position. Triangle position. Jim, come on. Your hands are not ready. What happens if the ball comes to you right now? Well, actually, my hands work completely on their own without my brain even knowing it. Sorry. Ha ha ha! Class caught up. Fail! <laughs>